hounds of heaven welcome back in to the david o gray show off code and unscripted i got one thing for you today you know god is about to destroy this whole thing but but just wipe us all all off the face of the earth once you have politicians openly campaigning at child sacrifice sites, child sacrifice sites, better known as abortion mills, sanctuaries for serial killers, openly campaigning at these sanctuaries for serial killers, these child sacrifice sites, running for re-election at child sacrifice sites, places where children are murdered in the womb, where sulfur clamps are being shoved into a woman's womb, baby skulls and limbs are being crushed and being sucked out with a vacuum thrown into a jar, disposed of. That's where the Biden campaign, that's where you you watch this video with Vice President Kamala Harris at a child sacrifice site, openly campaigning for re-election. And please do understand that when we talk about a clinic such as this, it is absolutely about healthcare and reproductive healthcare. So everyone get ready for the language, uterus. <laughs> that part of the body needs a lot of medical care from time to time. <laughs> Issues like fibroids, we can handle this. Breast cancer screenings, contraceptive care. That is the kind of work that happens here, in addition, of course, to abortion care. Hounds of Heaven, what is the world coming to? How is it a campaign slogan, vote for us, slaughter your babies? <laughs> in, in a normal world, how is that not considered to be just radical, ex, ex, excessive, extreme, demonic? Everyone should know that this, this is not normal behavior for a politician to be openly campaigning for re-election at a child sacrifice site. That's how dark, that's how demonic, that's how possessed by demons this world is in. Now, you, you thought it was it was strange and it was demonic that people would ever, we, we have to all tell ourselves lies, and lies now that, that women are not men, men are not women, that what you see is not true, that you have to call Bob, who's clearly a biological man, you have to call him Betty because he wants you to. If you thought that was insane, you thought that was in demonic, now politicians are openly campaigning, no longer just talking about it, saying we support Planned Parenthood, plan per no, or, or we support so-called reproductive health, which is code for slaughter your babies in your womb. No, they're saying that they... Um, they're actually there on site. They're there on site where babies are being murdered. And, and, and this Kamala Harris is saying, oh, we have to trust women. Trust women to what? Can we finish the sentence, please? Trust women to kill their babies? I don't trust anyone to do that. This whole world is just consumed with the death, not life. The whole world has been consumed by darkness has been consumed by that which is the opposite of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ comes, he's the light of the world, he comes to give us life, yet the world craves, prays for death. Yes, they even pray for death. Now, I saw this post on Dr. Peter Kwasniewski's Facebook page. Um, and he says, and I'll, I'll put it up on the screen, he says, Kajitan says that the only remedy in the case of a heretical pope is to pray and to have others pray that he will die. What Dr. Peter's referencing, he's referencing this book here, a uh, book you know, I read in grad school, studied quite intensely. And on page 216 of this book, um, of this book he, um, Benoit Dominique, he does quote that when he's reversing what do we do about a papacy that's gone heretical right he doesn't make any affirmations about who is a heretical pope and um and so but that's a whole different conversation is has pope francis taught heresy or is he a heretical pope those are two different things but but no it's like oh what do we do and he quotes kajitani that does it in sort of a lazy way because he doesn't offer a footnote, which lets you know that, okay, this, this saying is just something from tradition, something like, oh, Our Lady gave St. Dominic a rosary. 
you know, this uh, legend myth, but nothing that can be referenced uh, back to a true source. So he doesn't, and he does something other that he does something else that is also lazy. He doesn't say anything after the quote. He doesn't support it with any commentary of his own. These two things are, are a bit lazy. No footnotes, no commentary after it, right? And this is something that if, if you ever been in grad school, I think maybe undergrads do this as well. Maybe you're taught this as well in undergrad that anytime you quote something, you have to follow that quote with a statement of your own, affirming it, rejecting it, adding some sort of commentary, arguing against it. He doesn't do that. So it's a bit lazy, which is kind of not, it's out of the, um, the mode of what we see in this book is very well footnoted. But so, um, Dr. Peter, he quotes that and then he says, why are people so wimpy and so easily offended nowadays? If you say this kind of thing in, in 2024, you can lose your job at a Catholic school. But Kajitan was one of our greatest theologians. Now, we're not going to comment on Dr. Peter. Uh, <laughs> wimpy. Look, look at the guy. He's never been into a fist fight. You say, boo, he'd probably jump. Come on now. He's not the person you pick when it's time to go to war. Okay. But this is what passes as rational talk nowadays, right? That, um, yes, you should brain for the Pope is something you do if you're a tough guy. <laughs> you're strong and you're masculine. If you pray that the Pope must die, what, what's happened to advocating for life, advocating for Christ? What's, what's, what's happened to people praying for people to be converted, praying for souls to be saved? Now we're praying for death. A little while ago, uh, a priest came along, Father James Altman, talking about, oh, we must put a, <laughs> we have to do what the scriptures say, what Jesus said as metaphor, put a, uh, put a millstone around the Pope's neck and so he can drown. Drown the Pope. Everyone's advocating for death. It's not just the liberals, it's not just the left, it's not just the communists, it's people on the far right as well, all right? Even Republicans, they're not too far from Kamala Harris. They're not at a Planned Parenthood, but they're saying, yes, kill babies, but not after 16 weeks. This, this is Donald Trump's platform. He's running on child murder as well, kill babies, as long as they're not 16 weeks old. Kill everyone on death row. In fact, put more people in death row, kill them all. No repentance, no conversion. Just kill them. What, what else is he advocating for? Oh, yeah, in veto fertilization. Those aren't babies. Just We can just use them, objectify them. Right? It, it's, it's all death. Kill the eggs. Kill the fertilized eggs. Kill the embryos. We live in a world that's consumed with death from the left to the right. It's all around us yes we know that the democrats are quite extreme they're, they're completely the demonic national committee <laughs> right we know that the hand of satan lives in the democrats right but everyone else is not they're, they're not trailing too far behind right it's not at all so i'll end this commentary on the culture of death that we live in, especially in the West, when it comes to just life in general, when it comes to what a man and a woman is, it's all death, it's all demonic, it's all that just the heights of atheism and a rejection of God in the Imago day. We don't kill the Imago Day. We don't kill the image of God. We're no better than the Jews who did this to Jesus Christ. Anytime we kill the Imago Day, the image of God that is living among us, from the womb to the tomb, we don't kill the Imago Day. Full stop. But here's the thing. As the scriptures say, the measure that you measure out will be measured back out to you. You reap what you sow. So if what you're advocating for is death, whether it's children in a womb, whether it's the Pope, whether it's the person in, uh, on death row, if, if death is what you're advocating, death is what will come for you. And the opposite is true. If life is what you're advocating for, life is what will be given to you. Everyone who loves Christ Jesus with their mind, their body, and soul 
knows this instinctually. So live it. So that's all I have for now. But until then, until next time, blessings and shalom, life to you and to yours. This is David O'Gray Show, Off Code, and Unscripted.